Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. I was wondering, what if we could see dangerous radiation? How bright would it look like if we could see it? Ah! I was thinking about this because I was watching the TV show Chernobyl on HBO. The firefighters just ran right into the burning reactor building, totally unaware of any dangers. You taste metal. Yeah, what is that? And how could they know? One of the firefighters even picks up a chunk of graphite from the core, and it was so radioactive later they said he was holding 4 million x-rays in his hand. So I was thinking, what if we could see the radiation coming off of that graphite? How bright would it look like to our eyes? And how bright would a lethal radiation dose look like? How would it compare to a normal, everyday household light bulb? First, let's take a look at different doses of radiation and see what effect they have on our body. One way to measure radiation exposure is in grays, and it stands for one joule of energy absorbed per kilogram of matter. Now let's say that I'm 70 kilograms. It would take 70 joules of energy to equal a whole body dose of one gray. This amount of radiation, not great, not terrible. One gray is enough to cause mild radiation sickness with nausea and vomiting, but typically not that big of a deal. 10 grays of radiation, on the other hand, is, well, terrible, and after the initial sickness, you will feel better, but not for very long, because death occurs within a month or two due to the radiation destroying your immune system. Now, if you've received 30 grays of radiation, you won't even have time to worry about much, because the typical survival rate after a dose like this is on the order of a few days. So anyway, now we know what different doses of radiation would look like, how would they compare to a light bulb? This is a 25 watt incandescent bulb. It consumes 25 watts of electricity. That means it consumes 25 joules per second of electricity. Now these lights aren't very efficient, only about 5% efficient at turning electricity into light. The rest gets turned into heat. So basically this thing is outputting only about one joule per second of light energy. So if I'm about this far away, it means I'm only receiving about 0.1 joules per second of energy. So if this light was radiation, it would take me hours to receive a fatal dose of radiation. A well-lit room like this typically has about one watt per square meter of light that's hitting the walls. So that means if this light was radiation, I would receive a fatal dose in about 10 minutes. No, not my primmy, don't get radiation. No, ah, I'll protect you. It's like, who cares about me, save the bone. Now in full sun, the amount of energy that hits the ground is about 1000 watts per square meter. So if all the sun's light was replaced with dangerous radiation, you would receive a fatal dose in three seconds. One, 1000, two, 1000, dead. So we know that deadly radiation is invisible. We can't see it with our eyes, but we can indirectly observe its effects. So in the TV show Chernobyl, there was that big blue pillar of light coming off of the core, and that was because the air was so radioactive, there were so many radioactive particles zipping around that it was ionizing the air and causing it to glow. Oh, it is beautiful. So if you ever come across this glowing rock in the woods that's glowing a dull bluish purple, walk away, run away, because that is deadly radiation. People have observed this before and didn't know they were in danger. In Brazil, there was an accident where a worker cut open a radioactive source from a radiotherapy unit to treat cancer, and he took it home and showed his kids, and they were picking apart the radioactive material and playing with it because it was glowing blue. They were spreading it across the floor and rolling it around, rolling around in it because they thought it was some magical substance. So I guess even if you could see radiation, you might not know that it is dangerous. And the workers that disassembled this core, they had to get their fingers amputated, they had burns on their hand, like the size of the radioactive material. So yeah, invisible radiation like that is such an abstract concept that even if you come across it, you might not recognize what's going on right away. But you gun learn. So this is what our deadly radiation source would look like at nighttime. Now say I'm one meter away, that means I would be receiving about 3,600 joules per hour, or would give me a fatal dose in about 10 minutes. That is basically the same kind of radiation dose that you would be getting from the elephant's foot molten reactor core at Chernobyl. So it would take me 10 minutes to receive a fatal dose at this distance. Now if I backed up to 2 meters away, right here 2 meters, that means that I would be receiving a dose of 900 joules per hour. That means that it would take me almost 40 minutes to receive a fatal dose of radiation. And if I move back even further, to five meters away, or about 15 feet, it would take me four hours to receive a fatal dose of radiation. Not too bad back here at five meters away. Thanks to the inverse square law, the farther away you get from it, the exposure drastically decreases from any point source like a light or radiation exposure. So yeah, always wanna keep your distance from a giant radioactive light bulb in the middle of the night, except the mosquitoes. Get fried, suckas! All right, so I changed my camera settings. So this is what it actually looks like to my eyes at nighttime. Now, 
like I said before, this is, if you were standing one meter away, this is what it would be like if you were standing at the reactor core of Chernobyl, the elephant's foot, you know, 10,000 rotten gins for, per hour. It would really light up that whole area, and you would know, if you could see it, you would know to stay far, far away from that giant bright light. Look at how well it illuminates the whole yard. You can still see the ballista out there, you know, you can, yikes, you know, the closer you get, the more radiation exposure you're getting, and yeah. Don't go towards the light if it's radioactive. No! Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I know I didn't blow anything up this time, but hey, you learned something and that's why you guys come here, right? I hope. Anyway, I got you guys next week with something pretty cool. See you then. Bye.